Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on calculating a value after a compound percentage increase. So let's look at this problem. A bank account offers 2.3% interest per annum. I'll explain what that means in a second. If I save £350, how much will I have in nine years' time? Now what interest is, is what percentage extra your bank account might give you. So for example, if you save £1,000 into a bank account, then after one year, that's what per annum means, they will give you 2.3% of that £1,000 on top of what you already have. And then after another year, they'll see what you currently have and they'll add 2.3% of what you have onto your account. So we save £350 and we want to know what we have in nine years time. Now let's think what we'd multiply something by to add 2.3%. Now think about it, everything starts 100% of its value, that means all of it. Now if it goes up by 2.3%, then we would have 102.3% of the value. That's going to be slightly more than what we originally had. And you remember, we can turn this into a decimal multiplier. And we do that by just getting the decimal equivalent of this. What's this as a decimal? Well, to convert a percentage to a decimal, we divide by 100. Dividing by 100 moves that decimal point two places. We get 1.023. So 1.023, that is your decimal multiplier. And it's called a decimal multiplier because we can multiply by this decimal to increase something by 2.3%. So if I do 350 pounds, if I times it by 1.023, if you think about it, timesing by a number just slightly more than one is gonna slightly increase it and we'll get that extra 2.3%. But we want to increase it by 2.3% nine times. So we could times it by 1.23 again and 1.023 again, and we would have to do this nine times. But there's a convenient way of writing that, isn't there? We would just write 350 multiplied by 1.023 to the power of nine, because we're multiplying by 1.023 nine times. And we wouldn't need to do any of this working here to solve the question. We could just write that immediately as our working. So if we do that in our calculator, 350 times 1.023 to the power of nine, I'm gonna get 429 pounds and let's round it to two decimal places to the nearest penny and 49 pence. So just to give you a formula if you like, we take the original value and we times it by your decimal multiplier to the power of the number of years or the number of months or whatever the time unit is and that will give you your new value.